Hey, Garfy. Come to join in. Hi, everyone. Just thought I'd show you some bits I've got quickly. Um, we got a few other things, food items, but um, put it away. Just Pepsi and beans for the jacket potatoes that we're going to have. We're loving that at the minute. We have those uh, jacket potatoes. I don't know if I spoke to you about it, but... Um, they're not the McCain's one, they're the other brand, I've forgotten what they're called, Brannigan's or something, and they're amazing. They do in about eight minutes, and they're brilliant. They're so tasty, I even ate the skins. No, they're not organic, but um, highly recommend them. Maybe I'll show you them in another video. But, um, in fact, let me go and show you them now. Okay, uh, turns out we used the last <coughs> ones, and I just put out the recycling, so never mind. But I can show you this. This is where I ended up putting the blooms, just to keep them out of the way. And they've been up since um, Dad's birthday, so that's like a month ago. So I just didn't have the heart to um, take them down because they're so nice. But let's get back. Hey, little boy. Oh, is it very bright? Okay, so I was thinking blue stars, cut out, get some blue paper, cut out a load of blue stars, stick them all around the house, something simple. And then I thought um, also to uh, get loads of sweets and write Happy Father's Day um, on the bed or somewhere because I'd seen it on Pinterest. So I bought loads of midget gems, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, but then I saw this for 25p in the reduced section, I thought mm, I could do something with that. Um, so I'm just going to stick that everywhere. I'm thinking simple because obviously I did him a big uh, birthday and then it's Louis's birthday. So Father's Day is tomorrow, today's Saturday, Father's Day is tomorrow, Sunday and then Louis's birthday is Monday. So I'm going to have to do another display for that. So and obviously I did him all the colours and stuff for his birthday, my dad. So I'm just thinking, what can I do for his father's day? I mean, one year I did him like an owl thing because he loves owls. Um, and then another year I did him like an American thing because he'd gone to America. So maybe I'm just going to do like the gold with... And also it's really late and I'm so tired and we've got a really big day tomorrow so I can't be staying up all night like I normally do because we did see this thing in Tesco. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but um, if you're interested, I'll just let you know. It's £3 and it's this thing that you can make balloons and over an arch so it goes like over you know like over a door or something like that or an archway and all um you get 60 balloons and um they're blue and white uh, so that'd be perfect for my dad because that is evidence that'd be blue and um and you get like the little card things that with all the holes and then the attachment things so like you stick each balloon and then it makes like a cluster uh, so I was going to do that but I thought oh it's too late so I'm just thinking like to do the sweets on the bed like oh, I was going to get like a white tablecloth and I thought you know what I saved my two pounds they were two pound I thought, mm, a bit much I want to pay 50p um so I thought I'll use a white sheet and then I uh, you know like a white bed sheet and then I'll stick the sweets on there so it'll stand out more so I've just got this this was not reduced but it was two pound I thought that's good because that loves animals and then I found this this is just for birthdays or whatever this was uh, reduced to 50p it's a superhero game so you put that up and then you get little discs and you have to put it try and get it through the holes I fix the plastic banner on an open doorway place down approximately five feet away from the banner each player takes a turn to toss the paper disc through the holes in the banner um the high score wins so it's just fun it's just an extra thing to add at birthdays and then here's all the sweets i got five pound worth these are they've gone up because um, dad's been getting them for a while 25p each and these are his favorite he used to love love the um like main aunt's ones but now he prefers these these smell divine i've spoken about it many times but so 25p each and i've just got uh five pound worth uh, i think it's 24 packets i've got and I'm just going to um, use these, because uh, I saw it on Pinterest. Um, oh, oh, battery, as usual, sorry. Um, as you, um, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm speaking fast because I've died for the loo. Um, what was I going to say? Um, da, 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 da. I can't remember what I was going to say now. Anyway, yeah, they use Skittles, that's it, that's what I was going to say. How can I even do that? I forget what I'm going to say. And then I just... Anyway, go straight back into it. Um, yes, 
da, 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 skittles that's the one they use skittles and look great but the thing is is that dad doesn't really like skittles and they're expensive so i'm thinking these are going to be fab hopefully it's going to look good i'm going to write happy father's day or maybe like just tom or something like that i'm thinking of doing it on the bed because that's what they had done it on the bed on the picture and that i saw on in, um twitter was it, it was either twitter or instagram uh, and they just like someone must have done it for for like valentine's they wrote i love you in the sweets um, and i just thought wow that is so amazing but um yeah so i'm going to do that and then i've also got like these big long bamboo sticks that i got from nad P and i bought them because lou's like what on earth do you need those for i was like because i've got something in mind um i like to put things like write things on like on the grass in the garden so i'm going to get i've got a massive big roll of um wallpaper roll one year just white for louis it was louis birthday last year and i cut out a massive big two and a massive big five and that was for his 25th birthday and i put it in the grass um so that when he looked from out the window he saw 25 in the grass and so i'm thinking of just like unraveling the roll of wallpaper and then just like writing happy father's day and then sticking it to one of the sticks putting it in the soil not the grass i won't ruin his grass um either side of the garden so that one stick there one stick there and then having like a banner going saying happy father's day something like that Do you know just something simple rather than like redecorating the whole house because we're not even going to be here tomorrow we're going to see jurassic park at empire in leicester square with my cousin sam like my cousin sam her ultimate film is jurassic Jurassic Park like if I could define her in like a few words it would definitely have Jurassic Park in there like that was her film when she was younger so she has been waiting for this film to come out for years and you know she will be the ultimate decider on whether it's good because she is an expert look at my star wars tights aren't these amazing my my other cousin Jaden, that's um sam's nephew he's obsessed with star wars he loves star wars but yeah uh, i'll just if i have time hopefully i have time i think i'm out of battery these are this is what i got louis for his birthday's birthdays on monday and he has been obsessed with double buckle monks for so long and we've looked at so many different pairs because he's really picky as i've mentioned before it has to have like a it can't have a cheapy soul um and he's seen so many you know like in office and river and he's like no they look cheap so um he finally found some at a reasonable price because he his favorite his favorite is the churches uh, but you know 600 pound lovey i don't think so um so you know and the ones in office and all that lot they're all you know they, they don't look as good and they're about the same price these were 130 so it's a bit much but you know that's all he got and then the tie thing that I gave him in a little t-shirt but um shit oh we saw loads of cool t-shirts in uniqlo i suggest you go there i've never seen such cool stuff in there before as they have recently but look at this color blue i was so impressed i was like you definitely have to get them you won them for ages shoe embassy obviously it's leather i don't do leather but well when i can help it i know i've got my dms but I need the vegan ones. I'm thinking of selling them, but oh, my mum bought me them for Christmas. I feel bad. Look at him. He's coming to be with me. Oh, he's not well. He's got like a little tick in his foot. Mum was looking it up because she was looking it up last night. She says he's going to get Lyme disease, whatever it is. I'm going to take to the vet on Monday. It's because he's overdue his flea and tick. It's our fault. And he's been drinking loads of water and he, keep, he keeps cleaning his paws profusely he's got a tick i'm sure of it he won't let you touch it it's on the other side it's like got a hole in it and like all blood we think it's a tick but this is what i got my dad i'm gonna run out of battery if i run out of battery i apologize now i'll say goodbye now goodbye thanks for watching because i'm probably gonna run out of battery this is what we went all the way to um flip in it this is heavy near brighton um this place it's called bright helm stone fantastic highly recommend it if you're looking for statues they have like skulls like fingers up you know that's a bit odd fingers up like that way whatever <laughs> anyway moving on um yes da, 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 uh, yeah they have like little gnomes little gremlins let me try and lift this up oh 
and um, they have lots of really good religious ones as well. And my dad, he's like a changed man recently. I don't know if I spoke it, it said it um, before, but like he's sort of, you know, he's always very religious, but um, he he's uh, sort of, you know, seen the light and whatnot recently. And um, yeah, he's uh, um, he's going to church and things like that. Anyway, so um, I thought I definitely got to get him a Mary because. This is amazing and it's really affordable prices. And the fella is lovely, such a lovely guy. Highly recommend it, Bright Amstone. And I thought I want to get him a Mary for his birth, for his father's day. I wanted to get it for his birthday. But um we couldn't get there in time. Um let me back up. So look at the size of it. It's fantasioso. Guess how much it was? Forty pounds. Fantastic. Cheapest one I've seen. Cheapest one I've seen. I absolutely love it. I'm so made up and I'm thinking, I'm not thinking outdoors because obviously this is outdoor statue. I'm thinking inside. I think this would be brilliant. I'm like on the corner of the stairs as you go up to the loft. I think that'd be nice. You're going to let me have a little look at your tick? Can I see? So funny whenever he hears me rustling around in places like in the room in this room or in my bedroom or in the kitchen he kn must know I'm doing a haul and he has to come in but yeah I love it I'm thinking the corner of the stairs as you go up to the loft because I don't want it to get ruined <laughs> what do you think of that Mary statue daddy will love it and his birthday's in May and May is the month of Mary so that's fantastic. Love it. Yeah, but um, so yeah, I shall hopefully um do that. Hopefully that will turn out well. Um, these sweets. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And then we'll have like this. Maybe I'm just. I'm just thinking. What can I do for display? I just have no ideas. I don't know. Because obviously we've still got their balloons up and everything. Um, maybe I could just do that, I could do the streamers all around the place, and then that banner, um, and then I've got to wrap this, oh, I don't think I've got enough for display now, mm. maybe I could hang out that game or something, let me think, let me think, I can't think, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, Oh, I want to show them your tick. Show them your oot. Oh, I hope he's okay. I want to take him to the vet on Monday. I better go. I right hear Louis coming. He's going to bowl at me. I hear him coming. Anyway. Right, um, pop, sorry, <laughs> i do one more, <laughs> he is not happy with that noise, <laughs> oh, um, anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to think of some ideas about the display, maybe do some balloons, oh, I don't know, I can't think, what can I do, um, Oh, I hate it when I get like this, when I just can't think. My mind is blank. I hate it when my mind is blank to creativity. I can't stand it. I love it when ideas just flow. Bang, bang, bang. Love it, love it, love it. The best ideas flow. Just bang, bang, bang. I tell you what, I'll just do this and I'll make it sort of... I think that'll be enough, actually. You know when sometimes simple is more... I'm not actually a really, like... That is not my motto, seriously, like, that is far from my motto. More is m more is better to be, like, as you can tell from this mess in here. But, um, uh, yeah, the more cheap rubbish, the better. I'd rather have, like, a thousand cheap things than, like, one expensive thing. Whereas, like, my dad, he's more like that, so is Louis. Like, he'd rather have one good quality expensive item for, like, birthday and stuff like that. Whereas I'd rather have a million cheap little rubbish things um but yeah uh anyway uh i think i'm just gonna do that and then maybe i'll do the garden thing as well yeah but he's going to be over the moon with this i think 
so thanks for watching and uh, maybe you got some ideas about the old sweet things and if you do plan on doing it i mean you know i was thinking well five pounds a bit much to spend on, on sweets but then i suppose if you can stick by one packet at two pound and it's going to be really cool it's going to be really cool and it's like a really cool sort of gesture for only five pound um just make sure you get cheap sweets because you are going to need a lot depending on what you want to write out but yeah that's about it thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i shall speak to you soon